Good day and welcome to this webinar, this introductory video about the new tool from Kivinci, the Auto KPI Scorecard for Single Entities by Kivinci. The Auto KPI Scorecard is a brand new tool that will automatically generate business intelligence whether you have ever built business intelligence before, have clients that need business intelligence, you're a single entity, it automates the process in under 30 seconds. So we're going to go through a PowerPoint briefly introducing you to the concept, then I'm going to hop in the app and show you what it looks like. So let's dive straight in. Um, who does it benefit? Well, accountants that have a plurality of uh, clients that have a single QuickBooks file as an example. Single entity businesses can run it for themselves as well. It provides huge amount of benefit for companies who need business intelligence very quickly. I mean, who has a lot of time to go out and build a lot of BI? You, you probably don't make money on creating BI. So I really like this because all I want to do is make informed decisions about my business and move on. And businesses or advisors who don't really know where to begin. You know, there's a, there's a million things you could do in business intelligence, and is it meaningful? You should always ask yourself this question. What meaningful thing, what significant thing will I do with this data if I have it? And you want to be able to make important decisions very, very quickly. And so Kivinci's Auto KPI Scorecard will roll this uh, analysis up for you automatically. So what does it do? The benefits are this. It uh, automatically creation of business intelligence in under 30 seconds. Turning of historical performance. You know what you're likely to do is what you have been doing. I want to make decisions on what I've done. I'd like to impact my future in a positive way. Well, we have to start with a baseline. It does this for you. It color codes accounts for fast identification. Those accounts that need attention. How am I doing? Where am I going? Am I on target? It creates and compares accounts to an ideal range for each account. Oh, wait a minute. Ideal range? How do you establish an ideal range? I don't even know what they ought to be. Imagine with me that you run a report in January. It, it could be different. The data could be different in July. You need to be looking at a completely different data set. And you'd like to know how uh, the range that it ought to be in. So uh, Kivinci will do these kind of things for you. It automatically uses the top five native accounts from each account type in QuickBooks. So, so income and other income are combined. It takes the top five. Expenses, top uh, other expenses combined, COGS. And then there are some, there are five other KPIs we give you. For instance, months of cash remaining. It works on any industry. It doesn't matter what the chart of accounts is. It doesn't matter if you're a Catholic diocese or a dog walking franchise. It's going to work for you. It doesn't require any skill in Excel, business analysis, benchmarking, or report authoring. Now, that's a big deal because you don't make money by building a truckload of reports. You know, all, all you want is the data to make a decision. Or all you want to do is have business intelligence to send to your client, as an example. And you don't want to have to become an Excel expert using all the formulas in Excel to create something like that. This will roll it up for you. It creates an automated and customized dashboard experience. And really important, it's a very fast system-wide deployment. Less than 10 seconds, as an example, if you're an accounting firm, this standard scorecard will automatically adapt to any chart of accounts for any file and create the business intelligence. So every one of your internal users can click it in the pin tab. It's, it's, here's, a, here's a runnable copy, and it'll work for any client that they select, as an example. One throat to choke, one report to run, but it automatically populates with the accounts needed for the file in question. So I've gone into Kivinci, and what I've done is this. I've selected a client, and then I went to our library, and I said, look, I don't want to run the reporting month auto KPI scorecard. And 20 seconds later, it delivered this to me for the client in question. In this case, I believe it's called Apple Family Dental. It's a fictitious file. Our solution has tabs just like Excel, navigates like Excel, interchangeable a lot with Excel. And so we tell you what the period is, and Kivinji automatically pulls the top five income and other income accounts out, the top five COGS, in case there's only two here, there's three it did not find in a, in, a, in a quantity of five. We'll show you how to just hide those rows later. And it's going to give you the top five expense and other expense blended together as well, top five, and then some custom ratios down here. So this is a uh, kind of a guidance, how to understand it, how we calculated the formulas. If you read this, you got it. But the charts are so easy, you probably may never have to use this particular page, but it's there for those people that want to know a little bit more. The first tab is the KPI tab. And so Kivinci's automatically extracting the data of the QuickBooks files. And so all of this happens in about 20 seconds. 
And the output of what you're looking at here, when you click the download package, it's going to come out as an Excel file. I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. But let's talk about how this was built. QMG said, go find the top five income, other income accounts, put them here. Top five COGS, put them here. Top five expense, other expense, put them here. And go get all the numbers. So what we do is we pull the last 12 months and we take an average of the last 12 months for these top five accounts. And then we establish a low high range. This is 2% lower than the average of the last 12 months. And this is 2% higher. We put a tight window in here so that when you begin to see movement, either favorably or unfavorably, we're going to give you an indicator. Now, as you can see here for the reporting month, fee for service income is 142,976. And that's lower than the 2% low off of what I did the last 12 months. So we turn it red. Red means unfavorable movement. Green means favorable movement. In range means is black. And that means just it's in range. If this number were to be in between these two numbers, that number would be black. And so at the end of the day, basically what you do is you log in. We've automatically built the chart of accounts. We've automatically extracted the data and you look for red. And imagine sending a report like this. And again, we have others to look at down here. You send this out to your client. Hey, take a look at the red stuff. It's, you know, where you have an opportunity for improvement. This jump starts your conversation with your client. Now, COGS and expenses are coded inversely to income. In other words, as you can see here, I got 303. And it's lower than the low, ain't favorable cost control. So it's green. If this were to be uh, $750, it would be above the high. It would be red. Same thing down here you can see. The reporting month, we actually did $24,800 in owner salary compensation. The average last year was this. We've established the range. It's higher than the high. Therefore, it's red. Paying attention to red are your opportunities. Now, we pulled the prior month as well. So we're looking at the reporting month, and we've coded that against this, color-coded it. We got the prior month. So let's trend the reporting month versus the prior month. That's what this column does. And if this month is trending favorably to that month, you're going to get a green check. Unfavorably, going to get a red X. 454 is better than 327, get a green check. This is red because it's lower than our ideal range, the actual number. However, it is up from last month, get a green check favorable. So we give you a landscape view of many numbers and we interpret the data for you. And that's what's the important part when getting, giving something to your client. And we give you indicators of what to pay attention to. Look for red, it's that simple. And what's really great about the solution is it's the same template for all clients. Kimmich will automatically select the right chart of accounts natively out, the, out of the QuickBooks file, desktop, online, zero, whatever, and put them here and do the analysis for you. And all of this, all of this takes about 20 seconds. Well, on the next tab, once you've taken a look at these numbers, you go, okay, well, I see that. Maybe I need to what are, look a little deeper into more expenses. That's what we call the top 10 expense. We give it to you graphically. We give it to you empirically. Here's the top 10 expenses in descending order for the reporting month. In question, here's the numbers. And this is the percent of total income. And again, if the current month and the reporting on is favorable to the prior month, it's gonna be green. Now, we all know that when you run this for a client, you're gonna have some red here, maybe some significant red. So you're gonna look for red here. So we're interpreting the data. Now we give it to you graphically. You can see the bar charts and do that trending kind of thing if you want to, comparing you know the uh, reporting month versus the um, same month last year, uh, prior month, the same month last year. That's what the legend is up here. But the, really the data, uh, the, the value points are down here. Look for red. Those are your opportunities. Green means you're doing a good job of cost control. This will help jumpstart your conversations with your client. And the next thing we want to take a look at is, you know, obviously we want to see our month over month, year over year trending of total income with a variance and net income with a variance. And that's what it is. As you move through the year, my cutoff report at the time this was done was March 31st. As you move through the year, Kivinci automatically populates the data, does a variance calculation. You can see here our income is growing month over month, year over year. That's good. If you see red down in here, it's, that's not so good. We give you a graphical version of this. This red line running across this horizontal axis, uh, horizontal axis is rendered and valued against the right axis. And if this red line stays below zero at any point in time, that indicates a loss. So we don't want to see this line trending down. We want to see that line trending up is what we want to see. But you've got the data here as well for income and net income. Very easy to understand. Everybody gets that. Trending is where it's at. Comparison is where it's at. This makes it easy to digest. 
we do the same kind of comparison on the running cash balance. Take all the cash that's in the QuickBooks file and chart it out here exactly the same way, month over month, year over year. And you can see here our cash balance is bleeding down. Now you can begin to see this thing begin to run. And by the way, we have that axis over here uh, on the right-hand side. So we really don't want to see, we don't want to see a bleeding running uh, line running down to the right. Very simple to understand. And the last tab in here is an ARAP. It's kind of a unique report. This is not a 30-day, um, an aging report. This is a, an analysis report. So these are account balances for AR and AP, graphically. We give it to you empirically down here, and then we do a calculation of the diff. In other words, this month here is the difference of March balance to February balance. A $63,000 increase in invoices, basically, AR, from February to March. We calculate the diff here for AR and AP. And these charts interpret that data. In other words, um, this is the difference chart. And the way you use this is, I don't mind my AR increasing, but in the real world, if I see this chart down here increasing at a faster rate than this chart, I know that I'm invoicing more, but collecting worse. And we don't want to see that because that means you're going to be bleeding cash. So it's a little bit different chart, but it gives you some good digestion, ways to look uh, to value your AR and how well you're pulling that data in very simply in a chart. These are fictitious files, so the numbers are all over the place. In the real world, you will see this trending somewhere along in here, and we need this to not grow faster than this chart. Very simple to use, very powerful, and imagine that you could do this 20 seconds for every client every month. 20 seconds. Well, and it's as simple as selecting a client, select the report, click download. So like I said, the presentation layer that you send to your client on this particular report is Excel. Yes, you can dump it to PDF if you want to. We recommend Excel for a variety of reasons. I'm going to show that to you next. So we're now in the uh, exported version. When you click the download button inside DaVinci, this is how it drops out. And you can see it looks just like it does in the, uh, when running it on the screen inside DaVinci. And you can see that we have all the tabs here, just like we would in Excel. And in this case, as an example, I have a client and, uh, you know, they don't have any, they only have two cogs. Well, here I've hidden it. Just like you would in Excel, just come along here and hide the, hide the rows that you don't want to see. You could put custom notes in here if you want to. And you can see the presentation looks exactly the same as it did inside Kivinci. And this is your deliverable to your client. You run the report, you download it, you take a look at it, make sure that you understand it really well, clicking through the tabs in Excel, just like you did in Givenchy. You could even draw some notes here. You know, if, if, uh, if they're going to have a really large amount of uh, owner compensation, let's say, you might want to do this and highlight it just like you would in Givenchy, uh, like you would in, in Excel drawing attention to it, or putting a custom note out here. This is what this great thing about the KPI scorecard is. Not only do we pull the data together and give you the business intelligence, that's going to be meaningful to your client, that they're going to understand. In this case, you can see when I ran it for this client, everything's red on these expenses. A real opportunity for discussion here. As an example, consulting is 5.4%. Prior month is 36 For the year, it's 42 So you'll have these things automatically generated for you and at your fingertips. And in 20 seconds, you've got something to deliver. Now, there are other videos online about Qvinci's new solution, uh, the Turnkey Advisor Program for Accountants. But I'm going to recommend that you go on our website and take a look at those things because this is a piece of a comprehensive program. And it adapts to any client. It does not matter what industry your client is in. It does not matter what the chart of accounts is. Uh, it's going to automatically build this out for your clients. You'll take a look at it. You'll tune it by hiding things you don't that are not material or adding notes and send it to your customer and they're going to now have places to focus their attention to improve their business and that's what this is all about having a KPI that gives clients decision making information easily understood without looking at 850 cells on a screen that's what the scorecard does for you we know you're going to like it it's very very popular very very powerful we look forward to talking to you soon Thanks for joining us today.